Hi everybody, Thomas here. This is the first of a new series of flight sim navigation tutorials that I plan to be making over the next weeks. In this first video I'm going to take you through the basic pre-flight programming of the Airbus Multipurpose Display Control Unit or MCDU. I'll do this plain and simple so you get an idea about how the MCDU works to help you plan more advanced routes in the future. So this tutorial will basically show you how to program a simple route to let you fly from A to B. For this tutorial I have planned a route from Hamad International Airport to Dubai International Airport using the JAR Design A330. If you have no idea about flight planning then check out my tutorial about this topic using SimBrief. You can check the link in the video description. As you see I have used SimBrief to plan my route. What's important to note is the chosen runway for departure and arrival and the route line all marked with yellow. We have a flight level of 18,000 feet and our planned block fuel weight is 9.4 ton. We are located at the gate with the external GPU connected prior to engine start. Now let us have a look at the MCDU. The first page we have to fill out is the init page or the initialization page. Here you will see company route, alternative route, flight number, cost index, cruise altitude and departure and arrival airports. In this tutorial we will only focus on departure and arrival, cruise altitude and cost index. Our departure airport is Hamad, OTHH and our arrival airport is Dubai OMDB. Therefore we write OTHH forward slash and OMDB and press the button next to from slash to. Now click align IRS. Our cruise level is 18,000 feet so we write 180 and press the button next to the cruise altitude. The cost index is usually between 35 and 50 depending on airline, 35 being most fuel efficient and 50 the fastest. Let us set the value to 40. Now we change to the next page of the init page by pressing the right arrow button. We enter our zero fuel weight as given by the dispatcher by clicking the button and enter the block fuel weight in ton. According to our plan we need to have 9.4 tons of fuel. So we enter that amount and press the button next to block. The MCDU calculates fuel usage in ton and planned minutes spent on different parts of our flight plan in addition to takeoff weight and landing weight in ton. Now we want to edit our flight plan by pressing this button. Here we can see our departure airport and our arrival airport. We want to fill out the remaining part of the flight plan starting with our departure. Press the button next to departure airport and press departure. Here we choose our runway for departure. In addition we can see the ILS frequencies and length of runways in meters. According to our plan we depart from runway 3, 4 right. Next we want to choose a standard instrument departure or SID. From our plan we have a SID called LSEM. So we choose this from the list. The transition is left untouched and then we press this button to enter the changes to our flight plan. As you can see we have added some waypoints to our previous flight plan. These can also be seen on the charge over OTHH here. Now we want to add waypoints to our route by pressing the insert button and then the button next to the last new waypoint in the flight plan. Here I'll sim. Now click airways and here we write UL305 and press VIA and ASTOG and press 2. 
Again we click the button to the lower left to add things to our previous flight plan. Continuing to add more waypoints to our flight plan by pressing the insert button and then the button next to the last new waypoint in the flight plan now being as talk. Click Airways. Now we write L305 and press VIA and ITITA and 2. Again we click this button to add things to our previous flight plan. Now we want to program our arrival. Click Insert and the button next to the arrival in this tutorial being OMDB. Now click the planned runway for arrival ILS 1 to right and choose the standard arrival procedure or star from the flight plan being DES DI. Choose an eventual VIA and click the button in the lower left corner to proceed. The last thing we need to do is to check our flight plan to delete any flight plan discontinuities. As you can see we have a discontinuity here which we can delete by pressing the clear button and click the button next to the discontinuity. Now change to the performance page here V1, VR and V2 speeds are entered as calculated by the dispatcher and depending on different things. Furthermore the takeoff flap and trim horizontal stabilizer setting are entered. Usually a flap setting of 1 to 2 is used. Here let us use flap 1 and a horizontal stabilizer setting of up and 0.5. You can see the horizontal stabilizer automatically changing to the right. We are not using these in the tutorial but just to mention some other things that we see from this page. The transition altitude, the flaps retraction speed, the slats retraction speed and the speed at which there should be no flaps or slats. The takeoff shift in meters is used if the runway available for some reason is shorter than usual. And we can see flex takeoff temperature, the thrust reduction and acceleration altitude in addition to engine out acceleration altitude. Now we can check our flight plan. Turning this knob to plan, we can then change the waypoints by clicking through our waypoints with the up button to check if everything is as supposed to on the navigation display. Now we've completed the pre-flight configuration of the Airbus MCDU and we are ready to taxi to the departure runway. In the next tutorial I'll show you how to use the autopilot to fly the programmed route from Hamad International Airport to Dubai. Thanks for watching and see you next time.